Behind the Brand takes an inside look at the people that are making things happen. From up-and-coming entrepreneurs to the big guys, we show you how they go about their business. Meet the innovators with the know-how and vision to succeed. Get Behind the Brand. And it's customized to exactly what you are. Right. Whether you set it to track your own name or your own brand right. or the right. people that you're tracking. Right. I right. love that. Yeah. But the, but from a journalist, just to finish on that uh, story, I mean, it allows you to then kind of build relationships with those people. And, and that's how you're going to get media coverage. But And I love the way you, you point out um, then how you can use and leverage these social networks, whether it's Facebook or Twitter. I think social media gives us incredible access where we never had it before. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, you can definitely stalk your favorite personality, <laughs> right. but it also gives you a way to reach out. Like you said in the book about uh, reaching out to that journalist on Facebook. Right. You notice something in the article, then exactly. you contact, contact them through that medium. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, right. And that was perfectly appropriate. I mean, yeah. he probably would not have received, even if you sent him a FedEx package, <laughs> to toss right. it in the trash, but right. you hit him where he was talking. Exactly. It was relevant. It was personalized. I mean, it was right. It was basically something he needed right right you know and I think that that's the key but you know I will tell you also we, we started talking about uh, the traditional things I mean networking at your Chamber of Commerce event right still very valid way to, to make relation you know start relationships meet new people but instead of getting that stack of business cards and go back to your office the next day and start firing off emails about how it's great to meet them right. connect with those people on LinkedIn on Facebook on Twitter and and what will happen all of a sudden is you you're they're gonna start sharing parts of their lives and their their business and what they need I mean voluntarily right because that's what people do and if you're just if you set up ways that you can just kind of gently monitor that uh, all of a sudden you can start building a relationship with that person I think much faster uh, than you would in kind of traditional networking style so that the next month at the mixer when you see them you're gonna you're good friends I mean it, I think it just really speeds the relationship up so that's a, that's a good example of how to kind of fuse this uh, old world new world stuff I think yeah excellent well, uh, we've been talking with John Jantz, author of The Referral Engine. And uh, John, it's been a pleasure to sit here and talk with you. It's yeah. been a few minutes. Uh, I'm a big fan. Well, thank you very much. Uh, thanks. For the appropriately colored book right here for, uh, for Orange County. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Thank you so much. You bet. All right.